Have a look at this beautiful thing. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Red's Projects. I'm currently on my way to Tony's house, and then we're gonna go together to um, one of our local wreckers and try and find a new engine for my ute. Um, the ute's still running, as you can probably tell. It's running, driving fine, just still has that dead cylinder, still idles on five cylinders. So, um, yeah, I figure it was about time I'll go get another motor and start freshening it up and stuff and get ready to swap them over. So, I'll check in with you when I'm at the wreckers. Hey guys, I'm at the wreckers. Found a nice specimen right here. It's a VG30, just like mine. Already has the gearbox taken out. So, really shouldn't take us too long to get this thing out. Okay, it's currently 10.06. Let's see how long it takes to get this thing out. Out. Have a look at this beautiful thing. Thought it was retired. It's got no idea what its future is going to hold. As for the time, where are we? 10:43. So about 50 minutes. Hey okay, guys, I'm back from the wreckers. Um, before I get into this, I want to say thank you to Tony. Um, he helped out great today and was we were in and out in three hours. So, um, yeah, without him and, and he's, uh, he's got a, a Land Cruiser with a crane and stuff on the back of it, it made life so much easier. So, um, yeah, big shout out to him. Here's what I ended up with. It's a VG30, just like what's in mine. Um, it was the only one there. There was a couple patrol, uh, not patrol, Pathfinder engines are 3.3 litre and they're a little bit different, different manifold, different belt setup and stuff, but this is the the same as what's in my car. So uh, Tony suggested on the on the drive home that I should just do a compression test with this motor. If it's fine, if it's got good oil pressure, all that sort of stuff, just just leave it standard, put it in, and then um, I'll pull apart my engine and see see what's gone wrong and work out what I'm going to do if I put better pistons in it or something but I think that's a plan just put this motor in the way it is providing it compression test good and all that stuff and um, go from there and while I was at the wreckers I got some more goodies got a rocket cover for an SR20 that's for another car for another project that you might see one day and I got a whole bunch of Injectors. Now these VG30s, like this one here, got side feed injectors and this one's got pink top injectors in it. Pink injectors. And from what I research, pink injectors, 180cc. So they're very tiny. Now all these injectors 
uh, from non-turbo SR20s, red tops. Red tops are roughly 260 to 270, what I've kind of researched. And then I got these guys out of a Subaru. A um, STI thing that was there, a turbo one. So I researched these and they're 440, so they're even better again. But I've only got four of them, so I need to track down another two or another four and get them cleaned. And I just noticed before that the plugs are different on them. You see these these pins or these little slots are all the way at the top and they're even. These ones are offset. One's at the top, one's at the bottom. And they've got these extra two ones here. So to run those injectors, I'd probably need to change the plugs on them. So I'll see how I go. One of the things I can do with these injectors is um, decap them. So you probably will not be able to see, but there's like a, a plate with four holes on the end of the injector. If you grind that off and take it off, you'll kind of end up with a with it looking like that, with just one hole in the middle. It, most of the time, like I know LS1 injectors, it like doubles them. They go from like a 27 pound injector to like a, a 60 pound injector or higher. So I've got enough of these injectors. I've got what, eight? And I've got another six of them that I already had. So I might decap them and get them away, get them sent away, get them um, flowed, cleaned and see what they flow. And um, I've got enough of them that you can, because once you decap them, um, they might not be the same. They'll, um, one will flow more than the other and that. So if I have enough of them, I can get six of them that flow really well. And um, yeah, these these might end up being bigger than the, the yellow tops. So then they just drop straight in. They have the same plug, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they got the same plug, so. Yeah, but I'm just gonna spend a few minutes and um, take some of the, the rubbish off this thing because we got a bit savage and we're just cutting stuff off everywhere. So I'll pull some stuff off it and um, I'll finish the video up. So don't go anywhere. And we're back. All right, I got the manifolds off. One stud there I've got to replace. Oh, it's broken. This stud here snapped off in there, so I'll get that one out. I'll put fresh studs in it. Exhaust studs as well. Um, looking at the motor in my ute, distributor's different, I'm gonna have to swap that. Fuel rail's different. The plenum's slightly different. It's got a different um, idle control motor on it, so I'll just swap the plenum over, that'll be easy. Um, and other than that, it's the same. So, I did pull the plugs out of it. They look pretty good, they look much the same. Doesn't look like there's a dead cylinder, so. It did have one plug that's wrong. It's a, like a tapered one, like out of a Commodore or something, so. That's odd, it's got five auto light ones and one Bosch one, so. I wonder if there's anything wrong with that cylinder, but. I'll just. Like I said, I'll do a uh, compression test, make sure it's healthy. If that's good, then I'll take the timing cover off, check the timing belt, decide whether if it looks new, I'll leave it. If it doesn't look new, I'll put a new one on. And yes, other than that, this looks like a pretty good engine. And now, this plus the rocker cover plus the injectors, I got... 12 injectors total plus a starter motor which I got for this so I can do the compression test was 300 bucks so I'm very happy with that so I'll just rip into it a bit more and see how good of an engine it actually is that'll do it for this episode um, by the time you see this again I should have the clutch and it should be pretty much ready to go back in so thanks for watching I'll see you next time